Well, Chris, uh, some really good news about uh, about Nat and, and Wizzo, I understand. Yeah, some great news. We went to uh, the consultant yesterday, Pete Gallagher, who uh, gave them the all clear to get back into full training and then with a view to getting into match play as soon as they can. So really made up for them. Um, it's testament to their hard work and their dedication that they've shown and pulling each other through it. And uh, where, where are they on the schedule, ahead of schedule? Yeah, I mean, typically a textbook answer, if you like, for a, an ACL injury would be uh, circa nine, between nine and 12 months. They're coming in at about five months post-op just. Um, so we're really pleased. And again, I can't um, give them enough credit for what they've done, their dedication, um, and that their honesty of what they've shown as well as to when they are feeling things. They've, they've been brutally honest and, uh, and at times they've also pulled each other through, which is great. Yeah, maybe it's helped. Do you think having both of them, you know, because they've had that kind of support? Yeah, it's not something that you'd, you'd wish upon anybody, but I think if the, it was to happen, which it has done, then two of them with, within very quick succession has been probably a blessing in disguise uh, because they, they've become, or us three really, have become friends that will never break the link and will be friends for life now. So um, it's been so good working with, with all of them and, and both of them. Um, but at the same time, it, they've also had each other to, to rely upon and talk to, and I'm sure talk to about things that, when I'm not there, um, run things past one another. So it's, it's been great for them. And they're at slightly different uh, stages, are they? Yeah, yeah. So when um, they had their injuries, Natty's had a, a little bit more to it um, than, than Wezo's. So, I mean, it's only going to be a matter of weeks, but Natty's just got a little bit more work to do, but both of them are fine to go into full training um, and, and fine to progress into games um, but they both know that it's just the beginning of what we want to do the one thing that I said to them at the very start I, I sat down and had quite a frank discussion with them individually and both together and said let's make a positive of this negative um, let's sit down and discuss where we want to be um, in terms of getting them back I quite um, quite honestly made a, a, a decision that we would get them back quicker than what anybody expected. Uh, we thankfully done that, but my second promise to them was that we'd make them come back stronger than what they've ever been and better than what they've ever been. Uh, and that's a, a lifestyle change for both of them, which they've both taken on board brilliantly. And just tell us what, uh, you know, what sort of condition uh, they're in. Yeah, so I think uh, Wezo probably the most noticeable um, he's lost around about a stone and a half since he's been injured um, of, of fat, if you like. Um, he's now replaced that with muscle, so you'll see that the fans out there will see a, a very different shaped um, Wezo. Having worked with him in the, the rehab, he's using that as, a, as an athlete a little bit better. He's able to cover a lot more ground, uh, a lot more easily than what he did do. Um, and he's also a lot stronger. Um, and again, that's something that he's worked on. It's been great to steer him in the right direction, but the credit should really fall down to him. Um, Natty, is, as always, we've, we've called him the Rolls Royce. I think it's been well publicised that we call him that. Um, he's probably a different gear of a Rolls Royce now and a, a slightly better model um, because, he, again, he's stronger than what he has been. Um, leaner, and we've worked a lot more on Natty's mechanics. Um, so, done a lot of sprinting practices with him and sprinting drills which um, will hopefully again uh, get the fans to see that he's, he has come back a different beast completely. And there's a difference in the size of the muscle mass I think isn't there as well? Yeah exactly so in, in the leg uh, itself one of the, the key indicators of allowing them to come back is the strength and the size of their leg compared to, to the other side. So Wezos is actually bigger on his injured side um, just a, a tiny bit which is, is great news. Um, but again, because of Natty's complexities of his injury initially, um, he's just a little bit lower on his injured side. So that's probably one of the main things that we're going to focus on in the next few weeks to, to get him up to speed. Um, but they've been training for, for a good few weeks. I don't envisage any problems um, going back in. It's been, touch wood, a, a relatively smooth uh, rehab for them and, and quite a quick rehab in the grand scheme of things. And in terms of them actually being available to play a first team game, any sort of thoughts on that? If it was up to the coaches, it'd be uh, tomorrow at Tramia. Um, I've had to put a little bit of a, a stampener on that one and stop that. Um, I can't see any reason why in the next few weeks they're, they're not 
really pushing towards first team action. Um, so anywhere near Millwall, we, we won't be far away. And uh, they, they will return, kind of in, in terms of their athletic ability, better footballers in your. Opinion. Yeah, absolutely. I mean. Uh, Wezo is able to cover so much more distance and, and so much more quickly than what he has done before. We've actually got Vern, the, the analyst, to pull off some videos of what he did do um, from games and managed to then mimic that in, in exercise programmes that I've done. Um, and the difference is scary. Um, and again, Natty, we've seen jump height improve from his um, pre-season data last year. So his power, um, although he's still got a bit to work on with that single knee, um, his power in general is a lot, lot better than what it was. So yeah, I'm hoping that the hard work that they've put in will definitely translate onto the, the football pitch. Brilliant.